So with this one, I'm going to go from Udigarami into an Udigatami. So what's going to happen is, as I go for my, my Udigarami, Dylan's got two options. He can either grab his own body to, to defend the armbar, and it makes it a little bit harder for me, or he straightens his arm. A lot of the times they straighten their arm, and I could maybe finish by just finishing it here. But more often than not, he's, gonna, he's quite strong. So what's going to happen is, usually they try to lasso your neck and then smash up on top of you, and then all of a sudden he's got kind of a head and arm choke, but he's in between my guard and the ref will say Marte. So what we're going to do is we're going to anticipate that he's going to straighten his arm. So as I go through my figure four, as I'm sitting back, I feel him straighten it. As I feel him straighten it, I'm going to let it come to my neck, and then I'm going to hip out. I'm going to finish with a Udi Grami here. Ah, Udi time. So Tillon's arms are on the mat. I might have put them there or they ended up there. I sit up. As I'm going for it, I feel him straighten it. Now here's the key. I want to put it on my, in between my shoulder and my, on my ear, and I put my ear on it. But then I must turn to, to, to face Tillon. My foot's on his hip. My knees are pinching together. And I can finish this submission there. So again, I go for my figure four. As I'm doing it, he should, I, I want, because I can still maybe bend it from here. But more of it, if he's straightening it, I can finish it here maybe. How's that feel? I could maybe get it there. But to be honest, can you escape that feeling? He can just pull it there and I've missed it. But if that happens, we'll talk about that next. So it's kind of here. I'm going to pull it on my, on my ear. I want to cup his elbow with mine, with my hand. And see now, I've hipped out, foot on the hip, and I've completed this submission there.